Welcome to my lecture online. I'm devoting a video to the concept of the wave number because it often is quite confusing. What really is the wave number k? And I remember as a student, it always used to confuse me. I understand wavelengths, I understand velocity of the wave, but what is the wave number? What is k? Well, it turns out that k is defined as the number of radians per unit distance. So, so what does that have to do with waves? Well, when we take a look at a wave, notice that the wave does have a wavelength, and a wavelength is equivalent to 360 degrees or 2 pi radians. So we can think of the wavelength of a wave to be equivalent to 2 pi radians when you think about the equivalence of a circle and a wave. Now, if we then take the radians and we divide it by the wavelength, we end up with the number k, because after all, the wavelength is in meters, and the wavelength can also ex be expressed in 2 pi radians, so for a full wavelength, 2 pi radians divided by the length of the wavelength, we end up with the number k. Now, as an example, let's say that the wavelength of a wave is 4 meters. k is defined as 2 pi radians divided by lambda, the wavelength in meters, so it would be 2 pi divided by 4 meters, and if we divide 4 into 2 pi, we get pi over 2 radians per meter. After all, it is the number of radians per meter, which means that if the wavelength is 4 meters, k is a half a radian per meter. So for every meter of length, we have a pi over 2 radian, or a half a radian. Which means, multiply that times 4, you get 2 pi radians, which gives you a full wavelength Multiply this times 4, you get a full wavelength of 4 meters. So that's how it begins to make sense. Another interesting relationship is that k can be defined as the momentum of a particle divided by h bar. Now the momentum is m times v, and h bar can be written as h divided by 2 pi. If we now take the 2 pi to the numerator, we have 2 pi times mv over h, mv being the momentum of the particle, h being Planck's constant, or we can write that as 2 pi over h divided by mv. Now, h divided by mv then necessarily must be the wavelength, because 2 pi divided by the wavelength must equal k. That means that a wavelength of a particle is indeed h divided by mv, which was found about a little over a century ago, so we can define the wavelength of a particle as h divided by the momentum, or h divided by mv. It also means that if the wave number goes down, the wavelength goes up. A smaller wave number means a larger wavelength. And then if we again look at the situation here, we have a particle approaching a step potential, realizing then that k2 must be smaller on the right side than on the left side. So k goes down, the wave number goes down. That means we have a longer wavelength for the transmitted particles going from region 1 to region 2. So that's what we know now as the representation of the wave number. It simply is related to the number of radians per meter for the wave. And that's how we define the wave number.